The man accused of driving through a funeral procession and hitting and killing a former police officer says he's not guilty. Nine on your side's Bryce Onslinger was the only reporter in court today as Anton Palmer faced a judge. Well, that's right, Carol. Palmer is being held at the Hamilton County Jail on the $75,000 cash bond for the death of George Brooks. He pleaded not guilty today on three charges, including vehicular homicide. Anton Palmer faced a judge for the first time today after turning himself in to authorities. Police say he's the man who was driving this maroon car that hit and killed retired Forest Park police officer George Brooks, who was on this motorcycle leading a funeral procession on Liberty Street through the West End. This happened only because somebody wanted to take and, and be a little bit quicker in getting someplace where he could have waited just a few more minutes and it was a life changer for many, many of us. Forest Park Police Chief Phil Cannon met Brooks in the late 70s. The two worked together until Brooks retired from the force five years ago. He always wanted to do the right thing, and uh, that's why he became a, a police officer, too. And uh, he was trying to do the right thing and do uh, help others in, in what he was doing the day that he died. Cannon says Brooks loved riding motorcycles. His fellow riders were there the day he was laid to rest. Unfortunately, this is just one of those tragic events that occurred. Um, that had an enormous effect on not only George's family and friends, but I'm sure it's had an effect on this, this person's family and his life. Palmer, a 31-year-old father of two, faces misdemeanor charges of vehicular homicide and vehicular manslaughter. His attorney asked the judge to put him on house arrest so that he could be with his pregnant girlfriend, but she decided to keep his bond at $75,000. And now Palmer faces up to six months in prison for each of the three charges he's facing. Tanya.